What's up? We're back. I'm Mustache Dave, the sauce boss himself, to bring you some of the latest news within the PUBG scene. So let's get right into this, all right? So uh, today's segment is regarding IEM. And uh, so if you can recall, we have the invited teams, Tempo Storm, Ghost Gaming, and TSM. Um, but last night, finally, they closed qualifiers. We have the results. The results are in. The top three teams from last night's best of five are being promoted are being moved up and we will see them uh so i'm gonna kind of break it down and go into it this is a, a in case you missed it type of deal if you didn't have a chance to watch last night sit back let's get right into this so first things first all right we had in order from third to first optic gaming coming in third place just clutching it uh c9 and then noble so i'm gonna sit back i'm gonna relax i'm gonna break this down so let's get right into this we got uh optic gaming stats here are their stats right here so match one third place uh let's see match one third place and 11 kills so it's a lot of kills it's a lot of kills match two they came in ninth place with four kills match three they came in third place with nine kills and then match four they came in 15th place if you can see right there I don't, i'm not sure what happened with zero kills and, and then of course uh the third or i mean the fifth match they came in third place with 12 kills so uh you know they didn't clutch any uh first win games but they definitely were consistent enough to get enough points and, and make it to, into the top three so let's go we got the stats right there let's see some quick plays and kind of Kind of what contributed to them uh going to iem all right so first things first this is one play that i thought was crucial to them going into iem we have the whole squad in these compounds right here and uh two remaining members of totality right there in that little defilade uh really totality playing gatekeeper but i'm not sure optic knows that it's a 4v2 situation so they're playing this extremely careful but if you can look in the bottom right hand corner the mini map uh the blue zone is moving in so although totality is playing gatekeeper it's now or never for optics so they're making that push baja walk again a little chunk down getting some some health but they end up taking out totality they, they're not sure exactly if there's a remaining member left so they leave hypoc in the blue uh to kind of you know safeguard their their progression into the next circle but hypoc not being able to make it in there this next play uh it's just a, a 2v kind of <laughs> the whole map uh a 2v9 so they're getting called out right away look at all these bodies on the floor um hetror by himself pretty much uh 1v9 at this point he just needs to make it into the zone but l unluckily for him across the way we have a uh, fly quest with their eyes right on him. So Hypoc just getting as much information as possible to kind of assure Hetroar a safe entrance into the zone. But I think that previous gunfight kind of gave him away. So, you know, stuck between a rock and a hard place for sure. As the saying goes, blue zone coming in, throwing the smokes, trying to kind of make his own cover, immediately taken out. All right, last play. We got E United. In, in a skirmish with optic uh on the side of this uh the side of george pool right here and um baja waka spread out he's by himself e united taking him out right away almost immediately uh both teams spread out 17 accidentally blowing up his teammate right there uh, i guess he was chucking a grenade over that ledge and just didn't calculate the uh the geometry or whatnot needed so jamar guys they know what's going on they, they saw in the kill feed they're being a little more aggressive as the other two remaining members of their squad do push up now optic stuck in the tight spot seriously they're they're lo not looking too good right here um that grenade is going to cost them heavily hetro by himself he's just gonna sit in this little corner and you know if you can look at the mini map he is a little bit in the zone just barely and e united they want this blood for some reason not sure if it was a dc bug or this is that next level 400 iq strategy uh they take out vegas vegas right now dropping all of his uh meds his guns his weapons and he's actually gonna crawl down to kind of get some information on where this last remaining member of optic is 
Now, this is the first time I've ever seen this. So he spotted him out. He's running away. He relays the information. Guys immediately takes him out. That's the end of Optic right there. So Optic coming in third place. Uh, you know, not really impressing me too much. But, I mean, hey, I hope uh, for IEM's sake, they're going to get together and kind of review the bots and improve on, uh, you know, what they did wrong uh, on the best of five last night but like i said it's all about consistency and they did place uh third place three games uh pretty consistent pretty consistent so we're gonna keep this show we're gonna keep moving up now one squad that uh really just stuck out to me and towards the end of the night definitely i definitely think they deserve this uh this this spot was cloud nine now game one game two they did extremely bad. Game one, they came in 13th place. Uh, game two, 13th place again. Zero and zero kills. Not exactly sure what was going on, but something happened. They uh, they drank their G Fuel going into game three as they went to eighth place with six kills. So not too kill heavy, but they are moving up that, uh, that placement ladder. And then game four, they come in first place with only four kills. So first place, you know, uh, the way the point structure is right now, uh, placements is extremely heavy and influential on your score. But uh, the last game of the night, uh, <laughs> game five, first place again with 15 kills. So that G Fuel or whatever the heck they're sponsored by, Monster, Red Bull, I'm really not sure. Uh, HyperX, I don't know. Uh, but whatever they did, it definitely showed and they came to play. So here's some plays. Uh, I believe this is game four. Now we have a skirmish going on between these guys right here. It's a 2v2. One's actually already down. Pre firing around the corner. Biz taken out. Envious. And now it's just Biz by himself. Extremely low. This guy's got 5 HP. And the whole time, uh, Frex was just in the corner behind that little ledge, kind of just watching as the blood and mayhem goes down. Now this is extremely influential in their kind of comeback in my opinion. Um, if you can recall, or if you can't recall, uh, a little recap of this game, it was going extremely the wrong way for Cloud9. Uh, Moody's tire popped on his motorcycle. He died almost really early, really early as he was scouting. Um, and then the other guys, they just ended up getting picked off and, and leaving Frex to kind of just play the, the placements. And, and he did. Whoa. Uh, and he did. And he did. Um, so right here, we're going to have Biz kind of just feeling out the situation. They both know it's a, it's a 1v1 situation. Frex, I want to say, has more information on exactly where Biz is, considering that gunfight just went down up in this, uh, this warehouse. But... Frex, he knows he has to push out this way because the blue zone is on the opposite end and the blue hurts. The blue hurts. Here's Biz. Just feeding for information. He's going to pop. He's going to pre-fire actually. Right? He, okay, okay. He knows he's here. Biz is going to pre-fire. He, he's getting he's getting risky. There's a pre-fire going off. Takes out a bunch of health to Frex. Biz extremely low. There it goes. Frex winning the game for Cloud9. Game 4. Now we got one more play I believe coming from Cloud9. Uh, this is the last game. So uh, totality them they're they're out. Uh, optic on the opposite side. They recently just went out. So now it's a it's a four v two situation, uh, and they pretty much just clean up. Moody seven kills, solid FPS three kills. They just clean up the place. Uh, they were just on fire on fire. So that's the cloud nine stats and replays. Now for our first place winner. Um, noble esports now we missed game one because of technical issues but they came in first place with 13 kills and then we had the opportunity to see them game two uh come in first place as well with 12 kills and then from there i, I don't know they already had so many points that they just had to ride the wave and that they did i mean their their placements they did go down uh, I'm not sure if it's because of uh, their stamina or whatnot, but it's going to be interesting moving into IM how they actually do perform because uh, game three they came in 10th place, game four, 10th place, and game five, 9th place. So, not too crazy when it comes to placements, and their kill count definitely dropped as well. 
Um, but at that point, I think they were already confident that they were going to make it into the IEM. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they were there in first place, so I really can't knock them here. Um, this is game two where they came in hot with that 13 uh, kill game or 12 kill game. We see totality over here getting bombarded by grenades. Nop, nop, the last one alive. Vinny D, Biz once again in my replays, just taking shots, getting all the points he can here. But the zone is popped. We got 30 seconds left. Noble is in this compound, pretty much overlooking every single thing. Now, Ashik, a lone member behind the rock, he's just sneaking in. He does not want to be spotted right now. And we're going to come back to him, actually, because he, uh, he almost plays spoiler for Noble. But uh, here we go. Noble seeing all this action, hearing all this action, seeing the mollies, seeing the fire, seeing the smokes go off, and all the gunshots. Just little gunshots. Fate Nation in the house over there getting ready with the Zen 4. Zentrex. Uh, these are their new team gates. Where's my monitor dudes? But uh, they're going to all over there. They're going to push in. They're, they're losing this fight. But uh, meanwhile, it, this is this is good news for Noble. Like I mentioned, they're four members strong. And uh, they got the advantage on the hill here. Pretty much overlooking all the stuff. So they're just going to pick apart every single squad that's outside down there below. And they do. They do. None of them, I mean, none of them, they all lose their helmets. I believe one of them have, has a helmet left. So they're prone to being headshot. And uh, <laughs> I believe that's exactly what happens coming up right here. So now it's a 4v1 situation. They know. They know they're dealing with the snake in the grass. So they're over here. They're probing around. They're looking behind trees. They're looking behind the grass. They're looking behind every single thing, spreading apart. And uh, well, let's just see what happens. Let's just see. Let's just watch. Because I was on the edge of my seat here. All right, Ashek seeing Godspeed jump. He's going he's gonna to immediately take him down right there. Popping up. He knows they're approaching. Taking, taking him down as well. This guy, he took down two of the members. He had to reload, unfortunately. But, I mean, that's a, that's a decent, I want to say, a decent 1v4 uh, situation, in my opinion. Uh, even though there were two members left. I mean, who knows? Who knows, right? That's just why uh, that's why I would love the game because you just never know. Um, so that's our first, second, and third place. Kind of in case you missed it, that's a, a recap of all the important things that I believe happened last night during the closed qualifiers. And I got one honorable mention, uh, a play that I've never seen before. We have Machine Gun here. He's in a flipped uh, Dacia. He was chilling here for at least five minutes, uh, just hanging out. He's actually in the car, spectator lag or whatever. And uh, out of nowhere, I believe Envious, they needed a vehicle. They were extremely low on vehicles. They need to get in this zone. So Venerated goes. He he actually flips the Dacia and then starts driving off. And they, he's probably like, oh, what the heck? And Machine Gunner goes driving off, uh, honking his horn, saying pretty much, thanks, thanks. Uh, I needed that boost. But this whole, all this commotion, if you saw on the mini map, they, uh, both teams, both both squads, they were getting shot out left and right. Uh, that, that was I was cracking up. I was cracking up. But uh, all in all, the games were phenomenal. I was on the edge of my seat. All four games that we had the opportunity to view. And uh, congrats to those teams. And uh, I'm looking forward. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm from NA. So I'm cheering for the NA. If I get some hate out there from the EU guys, I apologize. I apologize. But uh, I'm the NA sauce boss in the house. This has been the breaking news from pretty much what happened last night during the closed IM qualifiers. Stay tuned. Make sure you follow mustachedave.com. Stay woke. See you later.